Uh, so you're gonna help Austin move out into his new place. What do we have to go? Uh, off road harvest of uh, shift. Uh, destroy structures at cannon. Um, yeah, so, uh, anyway, yeah, so, so, <coughs> so then she goes there, fucking moves Austin, and then, today again, apparently she has to fucking help him move again, and they promised, uh, oh, after you're done helping Austin move, we're gonna take him to the movies, and, and everything like that, which, okay, cool, so she was fine with it, but now, apparently, after they did all this moving, <coughs> now they're not going to the movies, and, so, Yep. Her mom did. Her grandma didn't even help. She didn't she even go. Yeah, she didn't even go. She was at home drinking hot chocolate apparently and bugging them, texting them and shit. And I said, Oh my god, that sounds like my mother would do the same thing. So it gets better. So yeah, Austin, like uh, everybody moved everything in, and uh, Austin. They decided to stay and help Austin uh, get everything uh, set up. So they just. They moved him and help him set everything up. Uh huh. So they, they could have, because they didn't have enough time. So Anthony said it was too late for them to go to the movies because he works tomorrow. So it was too late for them to go to the movies, but it was not too late for them to go and fucking help Austin organize everything. Right. Mm. Like, how is that? Organize what? Why can't he organize shit himself? Because he's their baby give a fuck who he is. That's why. He's fucking 24 years old. Fucking figure it out. Yeah, that's a flop, Mom. Figure yeah, out how the fuck you're gonna organize on. shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right, Mom. Yeah, my yeah. mom does. It's, it's, she makes my kid go so she doesn't have to go and do it meanwhile she's not a big woman anymore so she shouldn't be struggling at too much like she shouldn't be struggling at all yeah struggling at all yep. like what are you talking about you do nothing all day you sit on your ass you don't even have a fucking day. job like that's what i mean she doesn't have a job she doesn't do anything she just sits on her ass all day like your ass that you're like i can't work or do anything until i lose weight and then you lose the weight and you're like i still Oh, yeah, she's fucking cool. asshole. Lazy asshole. Yeah, yeah that's not about problem, right? That's not about problem, right? I know mom does the same shit. Well, at least mom tries to work, but she doesn't have it. We should have to give her credit for that. Yeah, but, yeah but, she but, but, works, yeah. But my, no, my mom hasn't worked like, since she's... Selena was born. And Selena is turning 20 in June. I know, Selena's growing up so fast, God. Yeah. Yes, she is, and my mother has been off of work since my child was born. It's fucking- I've worked more than my mother has. In my life, I've worked genuinely more. That- my mother will never touch me when it comes to me working. Versus her God, working. No. no, 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 never. No, she not even close. Never. She's- not she would have close. to work from now until the rest the of her life. The day she la died. Consecutively, which she never Consecutively, will. Consecutively, without a day off. Yeah, which she never will, so. <clears throat> yeah. She stopped working at my age. Uh. Less than my age, actually. She stopped working when she was 30. 36. <sighs> Holy fuck and been off ever since. She went back a couple of times, like, they would try to get her to go back to work, and then she would go, and then she'd be like, I can't, I can't, I'm in pain, I need more time off. Oh, Jesus. Fucking lies. Yeah, yep. you fucking she even got there. surgery done. Why won't it let me pick up these bullets? Like, anyways, she even got surgery done. And, uh, to, pr to fix her arm so they're no longer an issue. But my mom got a surgery that was only a 5% success rate on it. 
and she uh, did that, and then so she's she like, oh no, it's mm -hmm. still not, it still hurts. So. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty accurate. Yeah, my mother is like loves to pass judgment all day and all night about everything that I have ever done that I have fucked up and screwed up on. But you know, when you I'm know. Somebody, you fucking slut. Oh yeah, I mean she's gonna be that way forever. She's probably never gonna change that, no. unfortunately. Like she's always going to be that type of person to be a dickweed. I can imagine being off for twenty fucking years of my life. And uh like at my age right now and just not doing anything for the rest of my life. Fuck you, bastard. What you do? Oh yeah, I mean I would believe your mom. Or you like your mom enjoys that. There's a lot of people who enjoy that, like fucking yeah. Emmett for instance. Oh yeah, oh. Emmett really enjoy Fuck you, ho. Oh. oh you fucking piece of cunt. Okay. You want to send him a nice message? Stop trying to send me a follow, you fucking creeper! I don't want to talk to you. Stop sending me oh a Oh my follow. god. So we haven't even updated you on the Emmett shit either. Oh my god, Josh, we haven't even told you what fucking happened. Okay. Do you remember Emmett's ex girlfriend, Shaleen? Oh, Jesus. Newfoundland? Well, okay, so. We decided that in order for, like, because we're trying to warn his new girlfriend, like, to stay the fuck away the from him. Oklahoma bitch. Yeah, like, to not let him come out there. So we thought that the only way we could do that is if we get one of his ex-girlfriends to message her. And oh, he... see, we can talk to him now. This... Yeah, see? This now he did that shit. this bitch this fucking asshole had his new bitch block us so that on we couldn't avenue, talk to her everywhere on everything. Yep. So huh. he made her block us so that she we could never tell her the truth about him. He fully told this bitch that we were the reasons that he blocked her three times that he he ghosted her three times. It was because we told him to. Meanwhile, all he three was, times he ghosted her was because he was new fucking dating other people. One of them being Shaleen. So. Anyway, so, so we got Shaleen to message his new bitch very meticulously. And we warned her about who he is and how fucking psychotic he was. And that he's only going to do the same thing to her. And we don't know if she's gonna listen or whatnot, but we gave it to her, so at least she's been warned now of his crazy crap. Yep, that's all you can do. She's but we had to do though, like because we needed she needed to know specifically what she was getting herself into because she's like got two brand new babies like like twin babies twin yeah. babies at home like so we were like dude like first of all he is canadian he cannot come to america and work at all like not even a little bit no which is why your brother's here with me because i can't legally work over there but when we move back to the u.s now that we're married it'll be easier for us to get me to work over there one way or another so exactly but you need to ha you need to do stuff now the thing is with him what he's not realizing is with her or being over there she could never sponsor him or anything because she is a drug felon mm -hmm. well, even get better. so he so she can't even sponsor him or anything in that re regards so we only told him to not go out with her and like let it go for that reason was because it's like you know she can never come over here because she can't come to Canada being a drug felon he can't go over there because she can't sponsor him being a drug felon so 
Yeah. It's a pointless relationship. A pointless relationship. Yep, it's definitely a way. Uh, he didn't. He didn't want to listen to us, and that's why he stopped being our friend. But I find it hilarious how he told this girl, which we already knew that he blamed it on us. We already knew that he oh, told yeah. her it was our fault. But it, Shaleen, uh ended up getting uh, in touch with her and messaged her and was like, "Actually, Liz and Landon let him live. W let him live with them for months on end." And they paid for everything. So he didn't pay for anything. So don't let him lie to you, basically, is what uh, Shaleen said to her. Um, which I was like, hee 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 hee. <laughs> of course you were like, hee hee hee, because. We finally because accomplished we have something. Done everything and right, it's I just true. It's her to know, to, to know like, the truth. Absolutely, like like he's a piece of shit. He, he's gonna use you. You already work oh. at fucking a gas station making seven dollars an hour. Like well, the good news is is she's already super suspicious of him. But what's crazy is like the way he positions yeah, that to Jaden. <clears throat> like she's a smart girl, but the way she he positioned that to Jaden is like. That she isn't like suspicious. Not that she's suspicious. She's definitely suspicious of him. But like that, I don't know that she was more into him than she actually is. Like, oh yeah. The other thing is, is when we were mentioning this, she was like, "How do you even know I'm talking to him because he's just a friend?" Yep. <laughs> so she's calling this fool just a friend. Meanwhile, this fool thinks they're like gonna get married. Their, their and boyfriend shit. and girlfriend. That's his girlfriend. Like that's what he's trying to tell everybody. Like Whoa. he's so. And, and Shaleen said that Shaleen's like he talks about you all the time to everybody out here in Ontario and how <laughs> you guys are like together. And she was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> and meanwhile, this poor girl don't want nobody to know she even have a child. Like. It panics her for people to know about she has a kid on social media because she gets a lot of slack for it. Like, not a not a lot of slack, but, like, she doesn't want people to know her business, right? But here, Emmett, yeah, oh, going really? all over the fucking place telling everybody telling about everybody her. Under the sun. That's my girl. That could be my kid. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna be daddy. That's my girl. I'm gonna be daddy. daddy. I'm, Emmett, I'm gonna be big pimping going I ain't on ever here. gonna stop running after you, honey. Like, I can see it now. Like, he ghosted her three yeah, times. He literally okay. said to me after he ghosted her the third time he goes i'm like oh my god you ghosted her this the third time now he's like yeah it's okay she always comes back though she's easy to get me to i she's an easy person for me to convince to talk to me again she always like just deals with me and just says okay he -he. like because he because he knows that he can manipulate her Oh, I love this new sniper. Thank you. There is some people fighting over here. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, somebody just blew up this car. Yeah, it wasn't even me. This dude that I just killed right here in Shifty fucking. I know, it wasn't he even me to do it. literally just blew up a car. I can't even believe somebody taking my style. Fucking this blew this so truck fun. up like nobody's business. Wow. Rude uh, bitch. It's, it's, Did it's I so say so you could do dude. that? Emma thinks they're dating cheap. Yep, but the good news not. is that means he's definitely... And then she even said that like if he goes there... To, he gonna to, that he's gonna be stranded. Because she can't take him in. Nope. Yeah, she told him that she can't. She told him she wasn't ready for him to come. I like how he made this video going, trying to like make this video about him going up to Oklahoma. Like, I let's be crazy. Let's be crazy. Let's do it together. And here she is, like, oh my god, please don't. I'm you guys. I'm telling you guys right now. Toby back in three months. The can't work. He can't. He's not even gonna be Number gone two, in three he... months. He, he's gonna be back before three months because okay, maybe a month. she, 
bitch. He's gonna be back before that. He has nowhere to go. He can't be in fucking. He can't be in. He can't. She won't let him be there. So what is he gonna do? He can't physically stay there. He can't stay there stranded. He can't stay there homeless. Oh, you never know. Whatever. He's always got fucking something in that little tiny baby brain of his. Well, I don't know what he would do. Like I said, because uh, she already said if he comes there, he's not staying with her. Oh my so. god! This thing keeps. I put the this this shield keg too close to my fire and it keeps going out. <laughs> oh, I just no, spent no. all this money on my fire too. That was fucking hilarious. Do you need uh No no no. I was just trying to avoid using a med kit honestly. This shit is too funny. Anything there? trying to convince this girl to let him. He thought he could just use his charm like he do for everybody else. Trying to act like, oh, Like, I love how he, even when he moved in with Lisa, I don't even know why I went. I just went. I you just, gotta, we gotta go, babe. And here's a med mist here. I just went to go and, uh, leave. Like, she just asked me to come over and I did. I'm sure you didn't beg her or nothing. Like, fuck out of oh, here. Oh, oh, the fuck oh out fucking, of that's such a lie. He obviously he probably annoyed Banging the fuck her. out of her until she says, fine, he probably yes. just, Yeah, he probably just annoyed her over and over again until she said yes. All I gotta say is, good luck, Skippy. He, well, if he does go... Uh, for some reason, if he does go, she... He will be definitely stuck there, and then he's gonna end up calling us to come fucking save him. Which we would ignore. Oh, you little sl Where are you? What in you. the fuck, man? I hear you. Cool. Ah! You fucking-